don't know. They've yeah. been told to stand down, so mm-hmm. we'll see. Sad, man, sad. You know where I haven't seen this I'm not sure story that. is really anywhere, which is kind of weird, right? It kind Isn't of it? it kind of died out. It, it took it a while to pick up any steam on Facebook from. Well, it was even on the mainstream. They just said, "Oh, you know, a man was killed at the Oregon. One of the Oregon standoff people, the FBI, was killed by authorities. A couple of people arrested. Okay, yeah. moving on. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird because it was kind of a big story for a while, right? And then there's not enough bloodshed for the media. And well, I, that's weird because this this was bloodshed. It seems like this I is, said is not they, enough bloodshed. You think if there was more, then they would have picked it up? I don't. If they think would have so. shot the one black guy that was there. <clears throat> then it would have made all the media. Uh, that's that's a good point. I wonder, right? I I wonder if if it would have because there, and that's what I hate. would have. Well, I, there would have been the conflict of yes, we can pull the race card, but he was a right wing extremist. Yeah, he's a militia guy, so he can't be. Really, a black guy? Not really black, right? No, no. I mean, not really. Oreo. If he has guns, Oreo, maybe. Stop. Why? Well, that's just a descriptive term. I, I, I love cookies. I love Oreos. This is probably the best cookie you ever can made. Break them in half, and you can do all kinds of things. Size. Believe me, you can do a lot of things to them. I know. Dip them in cookies. Or, oh, okay. Well, you can, you okay. Know, dip my cookie in a cookie. Uh, yeah, cookie. You can Ooh, dip it in. now you're getting somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, cookie dip. You know what's really good? I don't know. Think anybody does this, but if you crumble them up and put them in ice cream, it's really good. That's brilliant. We could even you could call it like cookies and ice cream or we something. We could probably sell that. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, I, what? I, well, I, you, I hear a lot of black people comparing the race card, going, "Oh, well, yeah. If there was, if those would have been black people, they'd all been shot and nuked, you know, and killed." I, I okay. I don't know who you're talking to. I Facebook haven't heard people. that at all. Yeah, guys. But okay. Yeah. uh, What do you mean you haven't heard? It's God. I hear that comparison all the time. And then, well, I don't think you have the right friends. I I I think we we need to have a chat and then about the people you're hanging out with. And then, uh, of course, you you see the the memes on Facebook where it shows all the Ferguson riots and all the stuff going on there, where they did all the damage to all kinds of federal and government stuff. And private stuff, and no one was shot and killed. That I, I, that is and, actually a comparison that I think is fair. And then you look at these guys that haven't done any damage really to anything except cut some fences, right? And make some demands and occupy a building peacefully, I, and then somebody gets killed. So don't well, don't no, lay your I, no. Come on, no. the race I, card I on that. I, I I don't think that you can compare the police responses to the two situations, right? Because we don't know the details of of, of the response in Oregon. But I think what you can well, compare, yeah, we, what you can compare, yeah, we is, do. We have an idea. We have an idea. Of we what have it some was. eyewitness accounts from other militia people, right? The the Bundys. Yeah, but there were news who, news who people out to be really that were there and saw the the uh, building up of uh, armored vehicles, sure, and all that sure, stuff, sure, sure, hundreds of vehicles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we saw that. Okay. And then they set up roadblocks and we're stopping. So people. approximately equal. Police response, f- Ferguson to right because with with because Ferguson was it Ferguson or Baltimore? I don't know. They sent in the National Guard, right? Yeah, but who cares about National Guard? These are feds. They're bigger than the National Guard, but they didn't have National Guard are under state authority. What do you mean? Who cares? They have guns. They're people well, with guns. Not, not not usually, <laughs> unfortunately. No, what I'm saying is there were probably more police, more federal agents, more vehicles well, for maybe the Oregon more. thing than there was for any Ferguson or Baltimore or even Newtown. Maybe, but it was federal land also. So it makes sense that the feds would respond That's, to that. I'm not arguing the, that one way or the other, I, but I'm just what saying. I, what I think is a useful comparison. In, in response. What is a useful comparison is the media response to the two. Ferguson justified that they destroy private property, right? Small business owners. Well, it was on every night, uh, all the time. And and talking about Nothing it as about being it. justified. Right. But the Oregon thing where they're, they're not destroying private property, it was largely peaceful from what I gather. You don't hear much about it. In fact, it's the opposite about how horrible they are and they're crazy militia people, right-wing extremists, right? I, Deserve to be shot. Yeah. Well, yeah, we did hear Which that is, from some individuals. Well, Doctor Doctor Jerry Coyne said that, you know, on his blog. Yeah. God, I just, he just, yeah. Anyways, yeah. 
It's, it's he, crazy. He, oh, he deserves to be shot. You guys shoot, shoot them all. Shoot them all. But, you know, he's a peace-loving, you know, progressive that doesn't want to hurt anybody except for people that don't agree with him. The other comparison that I think is not true that I keep hearing or reading it is about this This is Lexington, right? Oh, well, Re- no. Reference to Lexington and Concord. Yeah. Lexington, the shot this heard around right, the world, right? right? It's not the same, okay? No. It, here, the militia, whether you agree with it or not, they were being aggressive, right? right. They went and took over government property, property right? right? In Lexington, it was the, Minutemen, the government and, and were the, coming to take and the whole property. idea of of a, the Minuteman, right, was for them to be prepared to defend themselves. Uh, you know, Samuel Adams, John Hancock, they were there. They were wanted by the British, so part part of the deal was protecting them, right, and protecting their ammunition and and their city, their town. Yeah, it was defensive. Now I don't know who fired the first shot. I I wasn't there. You might have been. Nobody. Um, no, but my dad was. And um, did he? Did he he started the whole thing? I think he oh, he damn. fired the first shot, but it's not the same. And and I'm kind I kind of tired of hearing it. Like oh here here's the start of the next American Revolution. I, 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 agree I don't with think that. so. No, I absolutely I so. not. I think ultimately it's going to be a tempest in a teapot. Unfortunately, <clears throat> I certainly well, think they're the, the government's wrong in their acquisition and their control and what they've done. Oh, yeah. to, to these ham sure. these Hammonds. I, I don't know about that. I don't know enough of the details, but for sure, I think the government owns too much. And I don't know what they were negotiating, <clears throat> but it sounds like not only did they want something about the Hammonds being released under time served, plus they wanted to get all the property back from the feds. Well, the feds aren't going to do right. that. They could commute the sentence. And they might. Well, I don't know if they will now because the feds won. Did they? Yeah, but you think so? Sure, I think the uh, the three percenters have a different idea. No, the feds. What did they get except one man dead? Not everybody dead. Uh, that look, I read, I read, I read the article. I, I mean, I read, yeah, I guess if you go to war and you don't fire a shot, and not everybody gets hey, killed, I, and you don't win anything, look, then yeah, that's a I've, good thing. I don't, I don't I'm, see that. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I read an article on the Three Percenter website. Yeah, I, I don't see how they it, it it's win for them in any way. Uh, it was it was ill conceived from the beginning. If you're going to have you know a long term standoff, wouldn't you have had semi trucks worth of food and water and supplies and batteries and ammunition and everything all? Pulled into that place. Not and, if you're not really good at it. Yeah. I mean, they've never done it before. And then, yeah, yeah, they they didn't think it through very well. Yeah. So. So here's the deal. What they probably expected. I mean, when they're still going to the grocery store every day to get supplies. <laughs> they, they probably. And wonder, huh, they put up a roadblock. Damn, we never saw that coming. They probably. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Oh, they own the road, too. Uh, they probably expected. Uh, a turnout like at the Bundy Ranch yeah, maybe. and the feds to back down yeah. say, well, it didn't work last time. Okay, we'll give you what you asked for pretty quickly. And that didn't happen. A little different situation. They were actually taking cattle away and killing them and yep. and uh, taking private property in that regard. So yep. right. that would have been closer maybe to Lexington than than this. But anyways, uh, time for, not time yeah, for Yeah, no, I, I, I think you're right. Uh, at the Bundy Ranch, that would have been. I don't think that would have started a, a revolution. No, I don't think so either. Way more but if you're going to use rancher. the analogy, but I think, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, we can take a break if you want. Well, I think we want to get into some good stuff here because I want to talk a little bit about um, <laughs> what have we been into so far. Not not so much good stuff. Okay, I thought uh, it was pretty good. But... Yeah, see, that's where you and I differ because I know it's good and you don't. So at the end of the show, when we go, good show, and you'll say, oh, I, don't know, I think it was terrible. And then I'll say, oh, that really sucked. That show sucked, which I'm usually right. You say, oh, no, that was a good show. So we really don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, all I know is we're not making $2.4 million off of YouTube like some of those people were. Can you believe that? Well, you're not. There are people making millions. Of, there's one YouTuber out there making $16 million last yeah. year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, adoutshow.com, facebook.com slash adoutshow. We'll be right back.
If you support the Second Amendment, then join us Wednesday, April 13th for our annual Second Amendment March from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Capitol Steps. There will be speakers, vendors, and gun right groups, as well as musical entertainment. Join your fellow patriots for a march around the Capitol Mall starting at noon. Meet with your state representatives to express your support of the Second Amendment. So bring the family, your friends, and your firearm to the Capitol Wednesday, April 13th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Visit SecondAmendmentMarch.com for more information information. At odds. Hey mom, tired of getting paid peanuts working for someone else? Tired of that job interfering with trying to be a good mom? How'd you like to be in total control of your time and make as much money as you want to? Go to Income51.com for free information on hundreds of work-from-home business opportunities from the Moms Business Network. I'm a single mom, and when I found this opportunity, I was able to make $1,200 part-time my first month, fire my boss, and now work from home full-time around my kids. What mom wouldn't want to fire their boss, still make great money, and have the freedom to live the life she wants? I was working as a corporate executive. I never had time with my family. Then I got downsized. I decided I was never going to work for anyone again. What I like about this is I get to be my own boss, work at home around my family, and provide a great lifestyle. Go to Income51.com for free information today. That's Income51.com. Start earning great money as soon as next week. That's Income51.com. Income51.com. Did you ever look at the stains in your coffee cup and then realize that's exactly what happens to your teeth? Paraswabs is the five-minute solution to get your teeth white without visiting the dentist. This is John Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. And if your teeth are stained from coffee, tea, or smoking, all it takes is five minutes with Paraswabs. In five minutes, you'll see an average of two shades whiter teeth, and in seven days, six shades. It's clinically proven to whiten natural teeth as well as caps and veneers. The secret is a tooth detergent that was developed by Dr. Martin Ginniger that lifts stains off of your teeth. Best of all, there's no messy strips or trays that you have to leave in your mouth for an hour. Just swab your teeth for five minutes and you're done. To try Paraswabs risk-free, call 1-800-679-0476. That's 1-800-679-0476. I guarantee your bright white smile will have your friends talking about how great you look. Try it risk-free today. 1-800-679-0476. That's 1-800-679-0476. Four seven six. Hi, this is Jeff Carlisi from the band 38 Special. The mainstream media has failed the American people once again. Internet radio networks like Red State Talk Radio will not fail you. Tune in 24 hours a day. Studios A and B. Great conservative programming around the clock. Red State Talk Radio. The dominant force in internet conservative talk radio. When our water heater broke down last month, it was a nightmare. It took five hours for the plumber to show up, and he charged us a couple of hundred bucks just to come out. Then it cost another $1,800 to put in the new water heater. By the time it was all said and done, I felt like I'd been taken. But what else could I do? The smartest thing you can do is get a home warranty from American Residential Warranty. Their home warranties pay to repair or replace all your major appliances when they break. And they will break. And at the worst possible time, call American Residential Warranty right now for free information on home warranties starting at just pennies a day. Don't wait for your refrigerator to stop running or your ceiling fans to stop turning. Call American Residential Warranty right now. Ask how you can save up to 50% on washing and dryer coverage. Just call 877-595-5381. That's 877-595-5381. Again, 877-595-5381. Call now. From now on, the only people you need to listen to are these guys. Thank you for listening to the At Odd Show with Nate and Brian. And this is the At Odd Show. I'm Nate. That's Brian over there. Uh, you know what you didn't do, Brian? 
Well, I didn't let it play all the way. You didn't ask. Well, you didn't let it play all the oh, way because oh. you're generally bad at things. But you didn't ask a trivia question.